Welcome to another Telltale Books video. I'm Greg, and I'm going to be um, continuing my Michael Moorcock series with his second story, Sojan the Swordsman. This is hardly a series yet. I apologize. I, I said I was going to go try to go through everything I could get my hands on by Michael Moorcock, and uh, I did read and review his first short story, Johnny Lonesome Comes to Town, and then I've kind of let it slide, focusing on a lot of other stuff like Stephen King. <laughs> and uh, I definitely do want to do this series, and so I want to get back into it. And I recently read his second short story, his second published work. A short story titled Sojan the Swordsman. His, his first story was a, a straight-out traditional Western. With his second story, he got into um, the type of fantasy that he would become very well known for. But this is a case where everybody's got to start somewhere. Uh, his first Western story was okay, but it wasn't a great story. His second story, Sojan the Swordsman, again, it's okay, but it's not great. It's definitely an amateur work. He's not up to the standards of his later writing yet. At this time, Moorcock had a job editing a magazine in Britain called Tarzan Adventures. And these he wrote a whole series of these Sojan stories, which he put into Tarzan Adventures. The first one, Sojan the Swordsman, was actually serialized, which I find amazing for something that's just a short story that it would have to be serialized. But it was serialized, it looks like, in three parts, August 31st to September 21st, 1957. And I think that means Tarzan Adventures was a week, weekly magazine. Maybe it was even a comic book. Moorcock was heavily into comic books and he was heavily into the early kinds of science fantasy like Edgar Rice Burroughs, Conan the Barbarian, Fawford and the Grey Mouser. That's, that's the origins of Moorcock's interest and um, influence in writing. And you see those origins here very clearly. Sojan the Swordsman, it takes place on, a, on another planet called Xylor. Sojan is, is from this small kingdom to the very north of the world that he's in. And he, he travels across a desert to a kingdom called Hatnor, which is a lot larger and is ruled over by a warlord. And he enlists with the warlord to be a soldier in his army. And this warlord says, yes, join my army. And the first task I'm going to give you is to travel with me to take a princess back to another kingdom called Sengal. And in order to get to Sengal, they have to travel across an area where there are people that are not friendly with Hadnor, and so they get attacked. I'm going to stop the synopsis at that. It's a nice little story, interesting to the Moorcock completist, but it's not good enough writing or imaginative enough story to interest anybody that um, is not a total Moorcock fan. It, it's it's an amateur story. It really is. So at this time, there's a long way to go before we get to the works that Moorcock became famous for. I am not aware of any of these Tarzan Adventures magazines being available anywhere online or used copies or any of that. Sojan the Swordsman is collected into this paperback, which was published in 1977, and which you can find. I mean, this is a really nice copy that I bought used. 
So it's out there. And it has the entire Sojan series as well as some other stories written at that time that are similar to but not um, not part of the Sojan series. And it wasn't super expensive. It has a kind of cool James Cawthorn cover. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's a nice little book. And, and like, like I say, the story is interesting if you're really into Moorcock and really want to know his beginnings. But it is amateur. I've, I've known high school students who wrote better stories than this. Frankly, the, the characters are flat. The detail is not fleshed out. So it's, it's just very basic descriptions. Um, has a decent plot, but kind of a standard fantasy plot. So, have you read Sojan the Swordsman? If so, leave your comments in the comment section of the video for all of us to enjoy. And uh, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And come on back for more Michael Moorcock. His third story is another Sojan story titled Sojan Sword Swordsman of Xylor. So in this one, he's not just a swordsman. He's a swordsman of Xylor. <laughs> so come on back and join me for more. I'll be going through these hopefully fairly quickly so that we can get to his better stuff. But I think we got a little ways to go. I think we got to get into the 1960s before we get to the really, really good Moorcock stories. But we'll see. Maybe maybe things look up even within the Sojan series. So I hope you'll join me for that and all the other videos I do here on Telltale Books.